Yo, bots and tots, and welcome back to RoboQuest. Last time, we got to the very end of the game, and then Iris pulled out a win somehow. This time, we're back, and I'm very, very strong. I'm playing as a assault right now. We have all kinds of Fury stuff. Fury is generated automatically on this particular build. Usually, you have to use your your rocket and your shoddy to actually get it, but this one just gets it all the time. It gives me armor, it makes me faster, it's really good. And it also repairs scratch damage, as you'll see over there, with the Repair of Fury. My main weapon and only weapon is this orbital shotgun, which is a rapid fire flat cannon that shoots ice. It's kind of ridiculous. It also has a secondary fire that fires even faster. It already fires fast as it is, but it can probably go faster. What do I do with these? Crouch accuracy. Eh. Chance to refund ammo. Oh yeah, I also, if I kill an enemy, I just have free ammo for 1.5 seconds. So, uh, yeah, it's not a problem. Let's go. I am recording, right? Just want to make sure, just in case, this happens to be successful. But you know what? It just might be. The repairing scratch damage when I just have Fury is kind of obscene, actually. That damn elite is just hiding down there like a little gubbins. We also do more damage to enemies afflicted with cryo. We have vaporized, so enemies that are affected by elemental damage die if they're 8% or lower. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of eviscerate everything. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Whoever is doing the hacking, you can stop. Remember when these elites just tore us a new way? It's time for revenge. That's what this is really about. It's about revenge. You son of a bitch. I also do more damage when I don't have any scratch damage, which, as a matter of fact, I just get rid of. I just say no. Just say no. It's that easy. And we got it. Do we want more elemental damage? Yeah, this sounds pretty good. Chemistry. A typhoon sh it's not bad, but it's not great. It's not as great as what we got going. Gotta enjoy that moon gravity. How you doing, little buddy? We tussle his robo hair. We don't need his services. We're so awesome. Round two. Kill that damn shield generator. That is literally saving everyone. And now it is not saving anyone. Uh oh. Whoop! I've gotten used to using my jetpack and my grappling hook more. And you know what? That really helps. With everything, really. I'm finding I like Assault more now than I like Engineer, just because the uh, drones are so unreliable. I also have Hot Potatoes, so whenever you see me throw a grenade, that's whenever I just get an instant reload. Because <laughs> I need an instant reload, guys. I'm not powerful enough. Ow. Things still hurt. Who is pulling me? Go ahead and use my grappling hook to get out of that. I'm stuck again. No. Stop pulling me. My only weakness. Not being able to move. That and also bullets. Don't let anyone know. I could probably use some of my abilities, huh? Whoop. But as you can see, my scratch damage is coming back really fast. It was all for demonstrated purposes. You understand. Lethal's usual gimmick. Only for demonstrated purposes do we fail. And I'm just getting back all my health very quickly. Will you stop being a coward and get that shield out of here? Hey. Not ban you pulling me all over the place. That really hurt. Alright, let's continue. It's time to give Iris what for for that last bit of disrespect we incurred. See if we got anything... That could actually make us more successful at life. Mark explosion, taking down an enemy. I do mark enemies every six seconds. Freeze rate is even higher. I see. So what you're saying is, I have to get that. Do I have enough for another? I have enough for another. Do I, I do not have enough for the third. Let's continue. It's Iris time. Listen, get out of here. Time for me and Iris to have our final showdown again. Let's see if I... Her, her life bar seems to be melting even faster than normal. I'm 
I'm hacked, but it's not a problem. I'll just fly. Just fly. It's not a problem. My god, I had a regular reload. I haven't seen that animation for some time. Madam, your eyes appear to be exploding. Whoop! Ow! To get unstunned. We're still at full health. Don't ask how that happens. Or how that works. It's not important. Using our triple jump, I'm hacked again. Woo, Bobby. Ow, 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 You gotta stop hacking me, Iris. It's not cool. Up, 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 up. Ow. <laughs> really, it's just a battle of endurance now. Oh, no. You hack sword me again. That's not really helping you that much. You should put your energy into better things, Iris. Like succeeding. We're doing that this time. Round two. Again. But now we're orange, so we have better chances for success. Or so I've heard. Oh my god. The damage. Get her while she's just sitting there being stupid. Whoop! I have faster movement speed. You can't get me now. Whoop! 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 whoop. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you're doing that. I'll just fly. You know, as one does. We're going to do that again, huh? Oh, no, you're doing this. Whoop. Ow. You actually... Ow. Stop hitting me. We're not insured for that. Oops. <laughs> Whenever I do a grappling hook, I also stun enemies. It doesn't really work on Iris. That's the attack that killed us last time. But I think we might actually have it. Let's not get penisy. But we got it. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, we had those kick rockets installed for just this occasion. Hold on. There's no need. But I want to. Iris, you okay now? Are you done being crazy? What happened? Humans? Earth? Bodies? What have I done? Ben! Step out of it! We need you right now! We got a lot to do! It's over that way! Also, there's a bug on the moon! What's up with that, yo? Is it a robot? Could be. Anyway, that was RoboQuest. A game that I've played for the last several years from early access to now, and it is spectacular. There's still a lot to unlock in this game, and I'm going to leave those for you to actually explore. Like the swimming trunks for that guy. What do they give you? There's also lots of other gadgets. There's lots of things we haven't seen in this particular playthrough, but man... They really nailed what makes an arena shooter fun. It's like we have a lot of big, stupid fucking weapons. And we have a lot of crazy abilities that allow us, as the player, complete freedom of motion. And complete freedom of, like, creativity in how we approach our challenges. You can sit back and use your drones. You can be hyper-aggressive, as we were with the, uh, with the commando this time. Or you can do anything in between. There's even a class we haven't unlocked. The uh, Chromatic class, as I, I, I think it's called. But I hope you enjoyed. It has been a good journey the last several years playing this game and seeing what it's evolved into. It's very similar to how it was in our early access, but we have a lot of new enemies. The weapons are actually all the same as far as I know. I'm trying to think if there's one we haven't seen. I didn't show you the Meteor Launcher on screen. But I think that's one of the few I hadn't. Those were all in early access, though. A lot of the levels were new. All the speedrun stuff was new. As well as the crystal. The crystal uh, stuff in the bot cave. 
A lot of character added to this game. We still have so many audio logs, or data logs, rather, to get. I'm going to get that on my own time. Because I like to leave a little something for you folks to actually explore when you play these games yourself. My, uh, my aim whenever I play these and other games are really just to like get you hyped about what makes games great. And maybe educate you about games you might enjoy. I've had several this year. Bellatro being one. This one has been one that people have bought in the past. And maybe now it's in a finished, non-early access state. Maybe you'll be intrigued to try it yourself. Also, where the hell did all these people come from? <laughs> you ever think about that? We didn't see them. The only person we have seen is Max. Where were they hiding out? Also, what's going on with those red and blue robots? I actually have my mouse, so I can, uh, you know, gesture towards them. I see them, and they're obviously special. But they're not really offensively special. So I don't know. I believe that's the guy who's looking for the swim trunks. Maybe I'm confused. There's one of our incarnations. Apparently we're popular enough to be put on backpacks now, so that's good. Not all robots are bad. Just some of them get hacksword? Who knows? Apparently some percussive maintenance is all that Iris needed, or at least we needed to chill her out with our super awesome horrible shotgun. The weapons in this game are just... There's a lot of good ones and few bad ones. I really enjoyed the orbital shotgun. I've enjoyed the pulsar rifle that we had last time when we failed. Like, the only thing that sinks about that one is it's travel time and it's time to kill because you have to wait for them to explode. The flat can is nice. I still... I'm intrigued to know if they actually got permission from Unreal. I mean, I'm sure they did it contact epic and say we want to put the flat can in this game and epic's all like we're not doing anything with it anyway you're using unreal engine it's cool put the flat can in there also if you want to put the shock rifle in there you can do that too shock rifle in this game whatever it's called i can't remember fantastic weapon anyway as always i hope you enjoyed and if we don't have anything after this let's see victory on hard a not too bad. It wasn't a, a perfect run. My feels were not that good. The uh, the commando class starts out a bit slow, but once you get to the end, bam, 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 S -S 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 -S, because orbital shotgun. When did I get the orbital shotgun? I think it was somewhere in here, <laughs> and that kind of changed everything up. I was letting a torpedo rifle carry me through this section, and I only brought up to like level three when I was ha seeing level seven and eight weapons. But there you go. It can be done. Let's head back to base camp for one last look. As a reward, you've unlocked a new, a new gadget, the sunglasses. The sunglasses drastically increase your damage, but reduce your health. You can activ activate them at the gadget rat. Oh, yeah. Guardian one. Oh, man. If you want even more, more difficulty, you got more difficulty. Okay, so those are on by default. That's cool. I'm glad we uh, I didn't close off the video so you guys could see that. Guardian 1 difficulty. So, there's a harder difficulty. Two rents per boss level. Enemy health is 10% higher. Enemy damage is 5% higher. Enemy aggressiveness is 10% higher. It's hard to say what that is. They seem awfully aggressive as it is. But I'm not sure what that would actually uh, do. Maybe I'll do some streams and we can explore that together. Anyway, for our last investment of wrenches, what should I put him in? Smithing Joe. I haven't really used his services too much. Sad to say. Let's get another reroll. Sure, you can come along and eventually I'll get that. Anyway, folks, this has been RoboQuest. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next LP.